Courtney Rollin reporting from the Dallas Cowboys training camp here in San Antonio at the Alamo Dome. I got the chance today to talk with two former Aggies, quarterback Stephen McGee and tight end Martellus Bennett. Just talk to me about the decision on the offseason workouts and the Cowboys' decision to get together. I think it made a big difference because um, a, lot of, a lot of times when you just go do your own thing, you're off beat, we're not on the same page. Our offense is all about um, being on the same we page. We had seven really productive uh, days. Um, defense, you know, obviously, as a new defensive coordinator, so I thought it was really good for them and for us to get to go against the new schemes. Were you ever nervous that there wasn't going to be a season? No, I think I think everybody knew there was going to be a season. We just didn't know when. So the big thing was when was the season going to come around. What was one of the biggest concerns for you entering the season and just during this off time? Well, I wanted to come in sharp. You know, missing that offseason time is a big deal for me because that's when I get most of my reps. And then, you know, this preseason time is also a really big time for me as well. So if the lockout continued to go further on, I'd be missing preseason games, and that's my playing time. So fortunately for me, it didn't. What is it about the game that means so much to fans? I think it's just it's just the, the, the spirit of the game, the, the lifestyle that the football is bringing. It's been around for so long. You know, it's one thing that people count on every Sunday to be there for them. You know, it's on a day off. You know, basketball happened while you're at work or whatever. You never know when the basketball game is going to go on. But every Sunday or Monday night, you know, there's going to be football. So I think people just love the, the type of sport that it is. It's the last, we're the last gladiators. While both McGee and Bennett had some unusual off seasons, there was some exciting news for both those guys. They both tied the knot. It's been a great off season for me. You know, I, um, just just been living life, you know, just growing as a person, which is the most, as a player and as a person, I think every day I try to get, gain a little bit, you know. I don't want to take a step back and as far as life goes, um, but I got married, you know, we got a new puppy, you know, it's just been living life. So uh, well, Martellus must have lost uh, lost my invite in the mail. I didn't get that, didn't get that invite, unfortunately, but yeah, we both got married, so that's really exciting for us. Uh, now we have two people in charge of us all the time, so yeah. Uh, it's, it's pretty, she's a great lady, uh, Martellus married, and then, uh, of course, my wife is awesome. She's an Aggie, too, so it's good. Even through the NFL lockout and now the intensity of two-a-days for the Dallas Cowboys, both McGee and Bennett find time to stay connected to Texas A&M. I talked to Vaughn, um, Gerard Johnson, but most of, I keep up with a lot of guys. You know, most of the guys I came in with are gone. A couple of the guys I recruited are still there, but uh, it's great to see guys like Vaughn Miller still representing for us. Uh, and my brother down in Tampa Bay, Red Bryant, um, a lot of guys I still talk to. Me and Steve, we hang out now. So, And talking about A&M, they're entering this season coming off a 9-3 and three record. There's there's a buzz in College Station to go in, ranked pretty high. Just yeah. what are your thoughts about that? Uh, it's exciting. I'm really excited. Coach Sherman's done a great job. He's brought in a lot of really good players, and that talent's starting to get older, and they're starting to play a lot better now. And so uh, I think Ryan Tannehill is a really good quarterback, so I think – a lot of it's going to ride on, on him, obviously, and I think he's he's got every bit the ability to, to lead them as far as they want to go. Um, all of us Aggies are going to be watching really close this year, obviously, and looking forward to some really big things. You hate to predict because sometimes the ball will bounce a funny way, but certainly going to have a good ball club. A lot of guys came back. That showed a lot about the coaching staff because a lot of, a lot of guys I had down there could have been draft picks this year, but they decided to stay another year because they believe in what the team could do. So that just shows a lot. That tells a lot about those guys and their character down there. So it's, it's, it's a great team. I can't wait. Hopefully I can get back down there this year and see a, see a game. Bennett and McGee will have a chance to catch up with Von Miller in a little over a week when they face the Denver Broncos. This has been Courtney Rowland for Aggie Yell TV.